Hi everyone and welcome back to ASFC Chemistry where I'm going to take you through, for upper six students, a long organic synthesis using a three-step process. And as you can see here, we've got an N-substituted amide, which is this just here. Now an N-substituted amide, which is what's being formed, has got a C double bond O, a nitrogen, and then an R group on that nitrogen, as well as perhaps a different or the same R group over here on the carbon from the other side. So that's your amide functional group, and specifically an N substituted amide instead of NH2 has got an R group over here and it's actually formed from butuene over here one of the first things you'll notice about this which we'll get into in the mechanism is but is actually four carbons whereas over here you can already see that there's six inside the molecular formula for the N substituted amide product so that's something we're going to have to keep our eye out for whilst we're doing this um, for each reaction, it wants you here to state a reagent, give the structure of the product, and name the mechanism for the reaction. Now, this is from an AQA paper. So here, when it says name the mechanism for the reaction, OCR, you're only expected to do it for reaction number one from the ones that we've got just here. You don't need to know the mechanisms that are involved for reactions two or three, mainly because uh, we don't use the mechanism that is used in two here in this context for the OCR A level, and the mechanism for number three is not on the A level at all for OCR A. What we will do, though, is different from AQA. We're going to have to give a little bit more information here for reaction two uh, because we have an extra condition that goes with that one, which is the true condition, of course, for that reaction. So what we've got to begin with is butuene, which is a symmetrical alkene, so we don't have to worry about anything about major and minor. But as you can see here, we're going to C4H9Br. Now, the difference between these two molecules is quite literally our reagent. It's HBr. So HBr is our reagent just here, and you would react the HBr with this alkene in an AS mechanism. If you remember it, it's electrophilic addition. And so it's not asked for the details just here, but don't forget, if you check out the cards for this video, you can see that mechanism outlined, and so you can look at all the bits of it. That's one of your AS mechanisms, and they were using it in this A2 um, exam question just here. Now, moving over to reaction two then, you can see here we've obviously lost our BR. So we've lost BR, but we have a gain of, if you look at the number of hydrogens and the new nitrogen, we've gained an NH2. So this is a haloalkane to an amine reaction, which on your large organic sheets, if it's still the same version, this is reaction number 23. Now, for this then, for this reaction, what we're going to need is, for reaction two, let's just make it a note down here. This is excess ethanolic NH3. So you need excess ethanolic ammonia, and they are really big on this. You must make sure that you use that to make sure that you get this as the major product at the end. Now, for these two just here, we've not actually given structures at the moment, but let's have a look at this one structure just down here, and then we can relate it to this one. Now, what we would have is a four carbon chain just here, and because of the positioning of the double bond, the bromine has gone on here, and so I can chuck my H's on like so. And then for this molecule just over here, we're going to have swapped that round. And so I've got my four carbon changes here now with an NH2 on. But everything else remains intact. Remember with organic, you very rarely change the whole thing unless you combust in a molecule. Now for the final one here, this is the one where we're noticing more carbons are being added. And it's because I suppose the only way to make an amide is to make that carbon chain longer because you are creating that amide link and that involves two separate components coming together. And so our other component that we're adding on must be two carbons in length. Now I know of a reaction that you know, and in order to get this amine group, this amine group just here, to react and become the amide, you're going to need to react it with an acyl chloride. Now specifically the acyl chloride we're looking at because two carbons have gone up here we're going to be using ethanoyl chloride for this. So the acyl chloride I'm going to need and the reagent I need to suggest is ethanoyl chloride like that. What's going to happen then is this Cl gets pushed off and that's where the nitrogen makes the connection to the carbon just here for this N substituted amide that we identified from the question at the start. And so our final product at the end for this, after we've used the acyl chloride and no other reactant, we don't need anything else for this, there's no excess or ethanolic conditions imposed on this one at all. Our product at the end for this is going to have our nitrogen just here, K2, 
connected to our seedable bondo. And because it was ethanol chloride, there's that component just here. This nitrogen then has still got an H on it, but we were told and we can see that it's going to be a nitrogen substituted. So all of this bit from the original amine is still on here. None of it's changed. So that's CH3, CH2, an H just there, and a CH3 for that. Okay. You wouldn't be expected to name that because you've got some branching on here, uh, but, but that is your nitrogen substituted amide product. And just to reinforce that we don't need the mechanisms for two and three from this for OCRA. I hope that uh, gives you an impression of how you can do a three-step or multi-step organic synthesis starting from an AS molecule and ending up at an A2 example. I'll leave you to the rest of the organic playlists. Happy revising.